good evening um, now i am going to do uh, transit result for uh, capricorn moon sign and capricorn ascendant so something big is happening uh, for uh, capricorn people because of this uh, saturn and rahu uh, saturn and jupiter's conjunction so as i already mentioned in my previous videos i did uh, you know few videos on this uh, conjunction please refer to those videos so two heavy planets so basically saturn is a planet of karma so he is a karma karaka so jupiter is a planet of optimism expansion and divine guidance so these two planets actually for any sign and for any moon sign so when you do analysis of transit results so these two planets actually have major major impact major saying in anyone's so uh, chart or you know uh, moon sign analysis so for capricorn moon sign so jupiter being in their moon sign ascendant is really good because jupiter has uh, three aspects so one is uh, the usual aspect that every planet has which is the seventh aspect aspect seventh house and fifth aspect aspect so uh taurus you know where rahu is positioned and jupiter has another aspect to ninth aspect so uh, the aspects there ninth house which is uh, virgo uh, so basically these houses gain expansion optimism positivity because of uh, jupiter aspect but however for capricorn ascendant capricorn moon sign jupiter is a functional malfic so let's leave about you know the ownership of jupiter yes he is a malfic for capricorn ascendant capricorn moon sign but still jupiter is is a divine guidance he is he is a significator for many good things so jupiter bring will bring lot many lot of positivity to the houses where he is positioned and where he is aspecting so their ascendant capricorn their taurus where rahu is there jupiter controls rahu and their 7th house which is cancer and their 9th house which is virgo these houses are activated and they are under control of jupiter yes of course this is a debilitated debilitated jupiter but he is actually in the niche banga because of uh, the lord of uh, the house saturn is in kendra in you know in the in the sign itself in capricorn so something something significant is going to happen for these people in 2021 because of this conjunction so considering the ownership so jupiter owns third and 12th houses for these for capricorn people and saturn owns first and second so basically this is a conjunction of first second third and 12th houses in the first house so something big something significant is going to happen for these people their name and fame family financial status their younger siblings and uh, their spirituality self sacrifice charity these are the areas that will be in limelight because of this conjunction happening in their moon sign coming to saturn stands it yes they are passing through sadesity which is uh, the second phase of uh, sadesity saturn being in their uh, own house like uh, it it actually it forms one of the panchamahapursha yogas which is uh, sesi mahapursha yoga when saturn is in kendra in his own house so which is also good for them this this actually makes these people stubborn but of course saturn actually brings some kind of negativity pessimism but yes jupiter is going to neg offset that uh, negativity and bring positivity so the net result is kind of uh, a bit confused state a perplexed state for capricorn people but again uh, a divine a divinely planet jupiter being in their ascendant moon sign is really a good blessing for them so by exercising their will effort initiation they should be able to sail through resolve the issues during this time because of jupiter is in kendra along with saturn 
So coming to Rahu, Rahu is in fifth house. So fifth house is a house of creativity, speculation, gambling, children. And uh, one's character is also seen from fifth house. So Rahu is in uh, fifth house. Also fifth house is, you know, house of uh, mind, the house of buddhi. So Rahu basically in fifth house makes a person diplomatic, political, extreme thinking. And uh, these people may tend to gamble, speculate because of Rahu's in fifth house, depending on the other planets' uh, position as per their birth chart. So whether they succeed or not has to be seen. So Ketu is in very good position in 11th house. So this is a good time for them to find opportunities and uh, connect with the bigger circle of people, nurture their relationships. So for people uh, who are in relationship and yet to be married, so basically for them, this is a kind of a mixed kind of a period. Uh, they need to at least wait till Jupiter uh, transits to Aquarius to find a right partner for a celebration of marriage. For people who are already married, just, just got married, uh, for them, so basically it's a kind of a bit uh, hectic and uh, testing time for them uh, because uh, both two planets, okay, the planet of optimism Jupiter and the planet of pessimism Saturn, both the planets actually aspect their seventh house which is house of their spouse partner. So people who, who want to get into new business ventures, contracts, so this is not a right time because they feel like, you know, things are not moving, they are stuck. So they have to wait for a couple of months, at least Jupiter uh, moves to a degree which is, you know, five degrees beyond Saturn. That's when, you know, they could see, you know, uh, things moving for them positively. So Ketu is good. Uh, Rahu in fifth actually is good if they do something creative, innovative, uh, they can even uh, can be benefited by access by leveraging uh, investments in stock markets like speculation will be good for them because uh, Jupiter also aspects Rahu. So for students this is a tough time because uh, Jupiter is a Vidya Karaka. So it's a significator for education. So Saturn actually causes breaks and delays, gaps in education. So this is a kind of uh, uh, tough time for them. So they need to put extra effort to secure good marks. For people who are in competitive exams, so this is a good time because Rahu in 5th house, because 5th house is house of uh, uh, this competitiveness. So they may do well if they please uh, both Jupiter and uh, Saturn. Uh, and one thing to mention like you know that still running that's the study study the seven and a half years they are in second phase so of course you know with the jupiter's position in their uh, sign along with uh, saturn the negative effects of uh, uh, saturn actually they are drastically reduced so they can be basically uh, optimistic uh, and people uh, who are in uh, relationships yes rahu in fifth house so these people may tend to find a new relationship, new people in their relationship, uh, a new beginning for them uh, because uh, Jupiter also aspects Rahu the fifth, fifth aspect. Uh, and uh, yeah, for, for getting married, they need to wait till you know, Jupiter uh, passes, a, uh, reaches a certain degree, which is you know five degrees away from Saturn. That is when you know they can expect. Uh, to to get things materialized with respect to their uh, marriage for people who are in uh, who are pursuing opportunities who are unemployed so basically uh, this is this is a bit uh, a tough time for them to find right opportunity but again because rahu is in their fifth house with their mind thought process creativity if they start learning things and you know update them update themselves and uh, improve their skills, they should be able to find opportunities, find a uh, find job. Uh, because uh, Saturn is strong, Saturn is uh, a karma karaka, so he is a significator for job. For people who are already in career, so it's a kind of uh, a slow progress for them. So, uh, 
it's not time for them to expect to rise in career or you know promotion in career they need to wait till jupiter moves to aquarius that is when you know uh, mid of uh, april 2021 yes uh, ketu is very good for them ketu will bring a lot many opportunities for them uh, rahu in fifth house if they rightly channelize this energy yes rahu will also be beneficial for them uh, they need to Uh, the areas of life which are in focus in limelight is you know anger sibling uh, their uh, name and fame and uh, their uh, financial uh, transactions and their father and uh, their children so these are the areas uh, uh, that will be in limelight so basically uh, uh, overall it is a kind of uh, above average time for uh, capricorn people with uh, ketu in 11th house and jupiter transiting their uh, moves and ascendant so friends if you like the video please click on like button and also subscribe to this video thank you very much